Hello everyone, I'm with my um, good friend Tyke. Should you say hello? Um, I'm seeing Spies in Disguise today, uh, December 27th, stay tuned for my review and let's hope this is a good movie. Spies in Disguise is the latest film by Blue Sky and is directed by Troy Quayne and Nick Bruno. Agent Lance Sterling is the world's greatest spy and teams up with Walter Beckett, a young scientist in training and is very smart. While one day he turns Lance into a pigeon but there's also the rise of a villain and it's up to Lance and Walter to stop him. Going into this movie I didn't know much to expect. I wanted to see the movie because of Tom Holland, Spider-Man and Will Smith from Shark Tale and Men in Black. After watching the movie with my friend, I really loved this movie. The story had a few stakes too, and some heartwarming moments which I didn't expect. The execution was well told, and the humour made me laugh as well. I felt very invested with the plot and had a lot of fun. It does have a lot of funny moments, but does have some serious moments which I wasn't really expecting. The animation is also really good. It does have a blend of cartoony animation, but the way they made Lance and Walter look like their actors really well designed, and a lot better than how Shark Tale did it for Oscar. The opening credits sequence had the style of an opening of a cartoon, and even the end credits of the Incredibles movies. The action was really fun. There's a lot of explosions and it's very high scope action like Kingsman the Golden Circle and The Incredibles 2 where the action does get more intense. The music was also pretty good. It doesn't add a whole lot to the movie but it's catchy and added to some of the storyline. As for the characters, Walter Beckett is definitely my favourite character. I actually found him quite relatable in the beginning which I wasn't expecting and found him to be a very sympathetic character and I think Tom Holland owns the role of Walter. Lance Sterling is pretty good as well. He can be hard on Walter when he's all stressed out but he's a good character for what he is and I really like the bond between him and Walter and his career as the world's greatest spy. There's Marcy and the other agent gang apart from Ma Marcy. The other agents don't do an awful lot and the spotlight is definitely on Marcy as she does a lot more in the climax. They're good characters but I wish they gave them more development. Marcy I thought was really good though, and I enjoyed the bond between her and the other characters. Now onto the villain. My main issue with the villain is screen time. He's in the beginning and a few scenes in the second act, but I wish he had more screen time, that was my main issue. I wish we saw more of him, we do see a lot of him in the third act in the climax, which is an awesome climax by the way. He's got good build up, and he is a really, really good villain, and a character that definitely had the stakes high, which I wasn't expecting at all. But I thought he was well voiced and well written and a real kick ass design with his robot arm. What he does is just pure evil and the third act is when the villain really does shine. Spice in Disguise I have to say really blew me away. It ain't perfect by any means as it does have flaws there and there. But it's an excellent original idea from Blue Sky and I'd love to see a sequel and I'd love to Spies in Disguise to become a trilogy. My ratings for Spies in Disguise are a 9.5 out of 10, 94% an A and 4.5 stars out of 5. See you guys next time on Skadoosh, and I do apologise that this rating board isn't the very well edited, It's the, I had some problems adding the text, but I am trying a new style for my reviews. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you guys next time, and have a great day everyone.